show you how to utilize the finder menu um, on the desktop. So the most important thing once you get your Mac is to be able to customize it and make it how you want it, not how it's set up already. You shouldn't have to adjust. One way to do this is the file browsing application, Finder. You want to change the settings of it. So to do this, go up to Finder and then About Finder. I mean, sorry, Preferences. And here you'll get the Finder Preferences. Um, now there's a lot of different settings here you can change and we'll just take it one at a time okay so in the general tab um, there's an option to show these items on the desktop so you can show hard disks external disks CD DVDs and iPods and connected servers hard disks are pretty much just um, the one that's in your hard drive so for example I have these two in my hard drive so they just showed up right there when I checked that external disks are like um, cameras or SD cards or things like that you have connected so this Canon underscore DC is my camera and CDs DVDs and iPods that's explanatory self-explanatory and connected servers are just other Macs or PCs that are connected to your computer um, new finder windows open to that's a really important one because you want to open the window when you make a new finder window just when you click this you want to open you want it to open to the place where you use um, where you use the most so right now it opens in my home folder uh, personally I like it to open in my movies so I can just set that by going selecting the movies folder just clicking choose and now, when I click on Finder, it move, opens up straight into my movies. So that's really nice for me. Um, open folders in a new window, that's just preference. I don't like my folders to open a new window. If I select this, then it, let's say I open this, and um, I'll go here. If I open this up, it opens in a new window. If I open this up, it opens in a new window. If I open this up, it opens in a new window. So I don't like all those windows cluttering my desktop, but if you like the new windows then you can just select that spring loaded folders and windows that's just a delay time uh, I don't think it makes a huge difference but you can make it short and you can make it really long labels you can label items in finder now so if I go to the desktop and select this folder if I right click it um, you can label it red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, gray. So let's say I label it red. It'll show up red. And also on the desktop, it shows up red. And pretty much what this is, is you can change the label name. So I can change this to red is cool. Right? So now when I right click this item and so label. Let's say I check the label. Sorry, it's gone. Enter. Enter. I'll put the finder preferences. Now when I right click this, it's red is cool is the name of the label. I sort of find this absolutely pointless, but um, if it matters to you, you can just change it, I guess. So Okay. Um the sidebar is this area of the finder window, right here, the devices shared places and search for. And that's where you really get to decide how it's going to work out for you. So I personally don't want my Mac, just my Mac, to show up in the sidebar because it's useless. Um, I don't want my iDisk to show because I don't even have a mobile me account. But I want everything else to show up, so I check those. Um, in shared places, I want connected servers, computers, not back to my Mac. So I just select that. Um, when it's searched for, uh, I use past week. I don't use today and yesterday, really. And I like going through all movies, not all documents and images. So that all these changes are reflected right here. In the advanced, it's just file name extensions. So for example... Some movies, 
if you know, are saved as like let's say dot move or dot avi, and to make sure all the extensions are shown, um, you can select that. For example, in this website here, I have. Um, you can see this. Oh, let me find a good example. Okay, in documents, this ScreenFlow document, there's no extension. But if I show all extension names, it's going to say dot .screenflow. So I just don't have that because sometimes it can it can get a little annoying, so I just leave that. Um, warning before changing an extension. If I change an extension and make it not open properly, then you want to... Um, you want to show a warning. Warning for emptying the trash so you don't, um, m by mistake, empty the trash when there's important stuff in it. And empty trash securely. Um, that's if you have some really secure documents you really want to erase, make no trace, then it'll empty the trash securely. But then again, make sure you have absolutely no chance of recovering your data. When you perform a search right here, if I search red, I don't know, anything, um, it'll search this Mac current folder or use the previous search parameters. So I use current folder because that's what I usually use. So let's say I'm in a library and I want to search screensavers. I want it to search the library folder, which I'm in not the whole Mac. So that's just again customizing it to your personal usage. So that's finder preferences. It's very 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 important and you need to use it a lot to make sure everything is customized for you.